if he wants to boost your FPS from this to this. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best secret optimizations that you can use to boost 1000 plus FPS, fix FPS drops, and lag. So, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So, let's get straight into the video. Deer Up Booster is the best program to boost your FPS and fix lag in any game. However, in this video, we'll specifically explain how you can use Gear Up Booster to increase FPS in Roblox and eliminate lag. Make sure to grab this program for free from the link provided in the description to enhance your gaming experience. What we're gonna do is go on Search Task Manager. Open the app and now we're gonna look for where it says Roblox Game Client because Roblox Game Client doesn't actually show up in Windows File. It only shows the Roblox player, which is the launcher for Roblox, and we don't need that. We only need the Roblox Game Client. So, what we're gonna do here is right click, there's a properties. And then what you want to do is go to compatibility and then make sure disabled full screen optimizations is checked now go to change high dpi settings and make sure override high dpi scaling behaviors is checked also press ok press apply and you should be done another thing that i usually do is to task manager open up and go to stop and make sure as much of these are disabled and not enabled only enable the things that you would need you am where you stop your PC. And if there's something that you don't know what it is, just make sure you keep as it is. It's probably something that your PC needs. For example, audio head the real technique, the audio thing. Anytime this enabled, it's my audio driver. So, so things like that need to stay um enabled. So, you wanna try a? Disable as much of this as possible. Only enable the things that you need, especially if it says the stop impact is high. So now we wanna do is search edit power and then look for says edit power. Open this up, go to change the advanced power settings, and then scroll down and look for assist processor, power management, and make sure the minimum process state is on 100, but don't do this if you guys have any heating issues. So, yeah, same thing with the maximum process. They make sure it's on 100 for best performance. Obviously, if you guys have overheating issues, for example, your CP, you gets high temperature, then this is not worth doing. So just keep it as it is if you have overheating issue. But anyways, just press apply and then press OK. Make sure turn off the display set to never. And also the same thing with put the computer sleeps at this to never on Windows search game mode. Now make sure this is off. You don't want this on. Like I noticed that now when I have this off, my FPS is so much more stable and I get much higher FPS than I did previously. Like in some games, I notice I get 200 more FPS than I usually would like. When I go on a game sometimes, and then let's say it's a game where I get 400 FPS, I'm consistently getting 5, 600 FPS. Now go to graphic settings over here on the right, and then make sure this is on. Go to background apps, open this up, and make sure. Let apps run in the background is off. This is gonna make sure that no app is running in the background. And just to confirm you guys can go over here, and make sure all of this is off. Now since you're here, another thing you can do is go to notification and also make sure this is all off. You don't need any of this on. Search for apps and features. Open this up. Now just delete as much of this as you guys can. Because this is gonna help free up your PC storage. Also making your game run more smoothly. Um it may not always make your FPS better. But it should at least stabilize it. Or you should see some sort of increase in FPS. So make sure you guys as delete. much things as you can of hair that you guys don't need. This for performance and go to the one that says adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Open this up. Select this and set this to edges for best performance. And we're gonna do is keep smooth edges to make sure your font looks decent and also a show thumbnails to the icons. This is so done when you go into your files. Any images you have don't show up as you know. The windows default. So this is these two are very useful. So, what you want to do now is just press apply press ok. Now if you guys are in video users, what you can do is go to minus three things. And then copy as much of a my settings as you want. These are currently the best settings and the ones I prefer to use. So certain things like open yearn GPU, set the steer GPU and also power management mode. Make sure it's on preferred maximum performance. Refresh rate obviously highest available. Make sure the Sheila cache size is set to 10 gigabytes. Make sure texture, filter, and quality is set to high performance. Now these two things, I would recommend you guys test on and off. For me, both of these on personally works better for me. It might not be the same thing for you. 
but I would highly recommend you guys try this out. While you guys are on the video control panel, go to adjust desktop sizing position and make sure this is on display.